would you like to see the items that I ordered from HC in December? Well, stick around and I'll show you. I'll walk you through what I got. I got quite a few. I'm very pleased with my HC subscription. I have many Ipsy packages open for December. So these are some deals that I ordered. Brushes, because I'm trying to up my brush game. This is really big. I also ordered a set of these scrunchies by Zoe Alia. A little festive. Another add on. I ordered some more brushes. These are foundation brushes and they were $16. These brushes were $15. These scrunchies were $12. I believe this is my December bag. Pink and fuzzy, not really my style, but I'll end up giving it away to a student. It has a covered, I guess it's a leather or fake leather strap. Home for the holidays, rock this festive playlist, Donna Red Lip, indulge in what you love with who you love is what the holidays are all about. So it tells you what's inside here. We have Coolies Beauty 4 in 1 Eye Serum, Eyeshadow, Estate Cosmetics Liquid Liner, High Dose Retinoid Serum by Sunday Riley, and Exfoliating Cleanser. Here's the Sunday Riley Serum. Here's the Exfoliating cleanser. And as I've as I've said before, if you watch my videos, I'm not too big on eyeliners. Felt tip eyeliner. And some eyeshadow. I actually have enough eyeshadow, but anyway. And and then the Prolise Blue Lotus eye serum. I really am liking everything that they're saying about this company. I also have a box and I've forgotten what's in this but I like this motto to you from you. So I have two masks face the day restoring sheet mask. I have a glitter bag. Oh look at that. I have Murad. I also like their products. Renewing eye cream. A hard to read. Another eye cream by Verify. And uh, 1111 Skin Repair Serum. I've used this before. I really do like this. And a Generation Clay Pink Mask. I really do like this one. This is a pink mask that goes on. You can actually feel it working. It's like a very high energy pink mask. And I believe I ordered these as, um, as an add-on. Let me check and see. Yes, I ordered these on Ipsy uh, Deals. So they were like $5 for each set. And I think I got a, a free bag for ordering everything. Here are three sets of add-ons that I received for December. I have a Perlice Cleansing Duo, a Complexion Picks, and a Full Coverage Duo. Each of these sets were $5 each. The Perlice Cleansing Duo has a Watermelon Charcoal Purifying Cleanser, a Prevent Blue Lotus 4-in-1 by Perlice Cleansing Milk for all skin types. Good size container, one ounce. That's going to last me for a long time. Prelease provides the benefits on the back. Tells you how to use it. Check in the comments below the video as well as in the text below the video. And I'll share my link. Pretty thick little gel there. In case you want to try Ipsy for yourself yes. or someone else. It helps me out a little bit. There's that one. Since it's called a milk. A little bit 
clean you. You can see where I brought in my hand. I'll use those to wash my hand. So far, I've been a big fan of the Pirelli's products that I received. Very, very happy with them. The complexion picks. We have a pure pressed mineral makeup. SPF 15, golden medium. From IT Cosmetics, we have the CC Cream. Lots of details on the back. And I'll, I'll video putting these on. From the full coverage duo, we have a BB concealer and a 4-in-1 Love Your Selfie foundation and concealer. I had been getting some creams that were a little bit light, and I went in and changed my settings on Ipsy to hopefully get something a little bit darker. So we'll see how these do. Which one to use first? I don't really care for the smell of watermelon. too strong. Oh yeah, it does smell like watermelon. Well, it looked like it took most of my makeup off. Normally I use these cleansers in the morning to wash my face to prepare for makeup on, but I wanted to see how cleansing it was. I think it worked well. It's not the best filling one I've ever had or the best smelling one I've ever had. Not horrible. I finally received my foundation brush and this thing changes everything about the foundations. I don't know why this brush is working so much better than this one, than this one that I was using, but you can see the difference. This is like a magic applicator. I mean, I've tried all my foundations with this. I got full coverage in my pores. I used just a little bit, dabbed it here, a little bit on my cheek, and was able to spread it out all over my face. So, so take back everything I said about the foundations not providing good coverage. <clears throat> it was me not using the correct brush. Game changer. Check in the text below and in the comment section, and I'll try to provide links in case you're interested in trying some of these products. It smells so good. So you can see this covers really, really well when the right brush is used. Ah, live and learn, right? Which one to try first? Um, I don't really have the correct, I don't really have a correct foundation brush, so I'm using this. I do have one ordered that's coming in, so we'll try this. I know this may or may not be right or wrong, I'm not sure, but I just put a little bit on the brush. And... And I know that this is not the correct brush for that, but it's what I have for right now, so that's what I'm using. So it didn't quite cover the pores in my nose. I would either have to put a little bit more in there or put some powder in there. I usually have a product that I put on the pores before I put my foundation on there, and I did not do it this time. It feels good. It's light. It smells great. So I put a little bit more on the brush and put it on my nose, and it did cover the pores a little bit better. So right now I'm quite happy with this. I do have a real foundation brush, but since I started using this for my tester i'm going to continue using that it doesn't feel like there's very much in the package that's what it looks like on this one's a bb cream this one smells a little like paint it doesn't smell as good as the other one
So it feels a lot going on and putting the foundation on with a brush is much better than putting on with your fingers. Um, this one stayed on all day long. I've worn it before and it, it feels fine. Just it's a little heavy like right around here. Maybe the way that I'm putting it on, but it's fine. Let's try this pure four in one mineral makeup. So it looks like a compact. I'm gonna use the same brush I've been using for the other ones. I cleaned it out, let it air dry for a day. Picks up a little bit. I didn't use any of my poor professional on my nose and this is not really getting in there to um, fill those those large pores that I have but it feels good it has no scent so so far it's fine I think if I had put this on beforehand then the makeup would be doing better but right here we have the large pores uh, after using this I was able to kind of close in the pores a little bit better using some powder but my I was thinking that if you were using mineral makeup that you wouldn't necessarily have to apply powder on top of it but it feels great on it's easy to apply so this box kit was what's called the R&R &R Master it came with all of that for $12 plus tax and I mainly bought that because of these two products here I've had those in previous bags and they were really really good so all of this was just extra stuff for me that also is probably going to be as good. So here's the eyeliner. Check in the text below and in the comment section and I'll try to provide links in case you're interested in trying some of these products. Nice little felt tip eyeliner. I've never used that type before. Oh, isn't that cool? It's so precise. Velvet Foss. Shiny. I really have all the eyeshadow that I want. Probably end up giving this to my mom. Giving her some. It's not too dark. Pretty. Blue Lotus Eye Serum. Seems nice and thick. The Sunday Rally Serum. The Feel Exfoliating Cleanser. And it has, looks, looks like a little exfoliation granules in there. I just put a little bit of this on and it goes where you put it. So make sure that you're clear. I'm going to need some practice, obviously, but super easy to use. And it just pops off. So the, it has a cap on it like a pen. Feels backwards for normal eyeliner. But it was precise. I just used that on the back of my hands. It smells so good. Feels good. Love the back of my love the back of my hands feeling really nice and smooth. So this is uh these are supposed to be foundation brush brushes. That's that's a highlighter brush. And then I'm not sure what these are for. But I have them. They're really pretty, very soft. And I washed my hands and the eyeliner didn't come off. I guess it's waterproof. And I think that I think that's a foundation brush. Very nice. These are by Makeup Geek. They seem to be of a little bit higher quality than the ones from, what is that? I 
can you say it a miss glam these are really soft these are also soft seem to have a little bit more texture on them these are just festive little scrunchies i think it's got to be safer from my hair than elastic bands these i reviewed previous videos this is a new product for me the eye cream it looks like a regular cream doesn't really have an odor this is a really big box for a small tube it's kind of unnecessary another eye cream this one also looks like a regular lotion this one also looks really super thick you can tell the difference between those two neither have a neither have a bad scent so with me and my baggy eyes i can always use more eye creams i spent a little bit more in december than i have in previous months because these were a little pricey and those were a little pricey but all of this was 70 dollars, which i think is is fun to play with and i want to do up my brush game and eye serum game so i'm happy with all of this plus i wanted those i'm happy here are my little jars with my nightly routine stuff in it lip care eye care eye serums and face serums and neck cream this smells horrible i know that people are opposed to people putting scents and things in there but this really smells bad it works but it smells horrible it's very expensive as well now let's see what this pure four in one love your selfie looks like i'm going to use the same brush check in the comments below the video as well as in the text below the video and i'll share my link in case you want to try ipsy for yourself or someone else it helps me out a little bit mm. i don't know about this one this feels like i'm this feels like some really old foundation that my mom had when we were little for merle normans it's just sitting on top of my face didn't really get into the pores. It's really visible on my skin. It doesn't have an odor. Color's a little weird. Like, I don't know. Let's see if I can spackle in these pores. I don't know. You can, I put a lot of this on there, but that is more makeup than I like wearing. It's just, it feels really heavy. It's probably like, you could probably do something with it, but I do not like the way this looks on my face. I feel like I've got clown makeup on. I hope I don't have to go anywhere today. I finally received my foundation brush, and this thing changes everything about the foundations. I don't know why this brush is working so much better than this one, than this one that I was using, but you can see the difference. Thanks for watching my video about my December Ipsy items. If you've ever been a recipient or a giver of a month of beauty bag or box, let us know in the comments what you like, what you didn't like. If you have time before you go, watch another video. And until we meet again, be good to yourself. Like they said, life.